name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library. So today's bullet journal is going to be a little different. I wasn't sure if I was going to do one this month but then I decided I do need a bullet journal. So what I've done is I've actually completed my bullet journal so you're not going to be watching me do it, fill it out with color. It's just going to be a flip through. I'll still have my regular voiceover. But I decided that because of my energy levels due to COVID, I thought it would just be easiest on me to show it to you guys this way. So it's for December, obviously, and I didn't really have a theme throughout the entire thing. I just thought this would be a pretty cover page. I really liked how November's looked just with the array of colors, so I decided to do something similar. I have my TBR page and my Books Read page first as I did last time, however I'm thinking I might want to change the order of things. I like having these back to back so I can see what I wanted to read and what I did end up reading. I also decided that my TBR was only going to be three things this month because of readathons. Then I have my rankings page and my readathon page. Rankings page I found to be very helpful at the end of the month and I am participating in the Reindeer Readathon. Then I have my calendar. I decided that for next year I might want to put my calendar more as probably the first spread as it is kind of the basis for majority of the things that I plan in my bullet journal but I wanted to keep it simple. Spread, I decided have a books coming out this is just for December so I can keep track of the books coming out this year and books to buy with my new $20 a month system I decided to coordinate what books I want to buy what month so I can keep track of buying either new books or books off of thrift books just so I can really have a better handle on controlling how much I am buying and then I decided to organize my YouTube and other social media pages a little bit more by adding boxes just to make the organization neater and so far I've already found this to be very helpful rather than just a blank page strewn about with notes. Same with Instagrams and with my reviews I decided to block off special areas for title, author, and rating and then I can have empty space below for my notes as usual but this way I can just have a little bit of a better neater system for it and then at the end i have my 2021 wrap up uh this is just for the end of the year and it's going to help me with some of my end of the year videos so thank you all so much for watching this video i know it was a little different than normal but hopefully by the time january rolls around i should be back to normal with doing the actual bullet journal as you're watching. If you liked this, give it a thumbs up and maybe I can do something similar to this in the future. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified as I will be posting a lot of videos soon. And follow me on my social media down below. See you in the next video. I wish you happy reading.